Hi, my name is James Fairley. Welcome back to Capitals for Kids for this week's Storytime Reading. On behalf of the Peoria Alumni Chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, I am proud to present Kappas for Kids in partnership with the Peoria Playhouse Children's Museum. As part of this collaboration, we will be working with the Playhouse to offer some great programs over the next couple of months, both virtually and at the museum when it reopens. Stay tuned for more information after the story. Now, I am delighted to introduce our guest reader for this week. It's Cynthia Smith, who will share with you today's book entitled, What If? by Samantha Berger and illustrated by Mike Corrado. Cynthia, take it away. Hello, everyone. And thanks, James, for that introduction and the Peoria Playhouse Children's Museum and the Peoria Alumni Chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi for this great program. Again, my name is Cynthia Smith, and I am excited to be here to share with you today's book entitled, What If? by Samantha Berger and illustrated by Mark Cueto. This book is about expressing oneself through art. What if? With a pencil and paper, I write, and draw art to create my stories that come from my heart. But what if that pencil one day disappeared? I fold up the paper till stories appeared. And what if that paper was no longer there? I chisel the table and then carve the chair. And what if there wasn't a chair here at all? I chip and I peel at the paint on the wall. And what if there wasn't a wall anymore? I might build a story from boards in the floor. Without any floor, I could still use the land and sketch out a tail in the dirt with my hand. I could still shape the leaves. I could still sculpt the snow. I could still plant the flowers and make kingdoms grow. Without any land, I will still use the light and vent shadow stories the sun would at night. If there was no light, I would still use my voice to sing out my stories to chant and rejoice. I still have my body to twist and to bend to dance out my stories beginning to end. If I had nothing but still had my mind, there will always be stories to seek and to find. If I know nothing but one bit of fate, as long as I live, I will always create. As long as I live, I will always create. I hope you enjoyed the book. I certainly did. What did you think about the story? What was your favorite part? My favorite part of the story was, if there was no light, she would use her voice to sing out her stories to chant and rejoice. Share a comment or two about this story in the comment section on this Facebook post. We would love to hear from you. Thank you to the Peoria Playhouse and Kappa Alpha Psi for having me. If you would like to learn more about Peoria Playhouse memberships and upcoming events, please visit peoriaplayhouse.org or go to their Facebook page. You can find more Kappas for Kids programs on their Facebook page. I hope you enjoyed the Peoria Playhouse and Kappas for Kids for another story time next week. Until then, keep reading, stay safe. Bye-bye.